we'll just start with a meditation so that they can come and join us whenever they are done. Uh, so to start, sit down on your mat, cross your legs, close your eyes. I know most of you are already familiar with our practice and our meditation practice. So come into a comfortable seated position for you. Close your eyes when you are ready. Settle down here. Take your time to arrive on your mat, to shift from whatever it was you were doing before to finally starting your practice, finally starting this session tonight. And as you are here, let's start with three cleansing breaths together. Inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale again. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more big breath in. Let it all go. <sighs> Finally arriving here. Being on your mat. beginning to bring your awareness to this space. Can you start to listen? Listen to your surroundings. Notice all the cars passing by. If you're at home, notice any voices around you, maybe people outside of your room. Notice the mat underneath your body, how that feels underneath you. Notice the temperature in the space that you're in as well. All these little things that are part of your space. Begin to feel into that. Now take your awareness to your physical body. Relax your feet and toes. Relaxing your ankles, your shins and knees. Relaxing your thighs and hips. And see if there's any way for your legs to soften a little bit more. Bring your awareness to your pelvis, to the front of your pelvis, to the back side of the pelvis. And then lengthen your spine in a way that's still comfortable for you. But at the same time, you're able to expand your chest, expand the lungs. Soften the heart here. Then relax your shoulders. Let the elbows fall right by the waist. Relax the forearms and wrists all the way to your hands and fingers. And then bring your awareness to the neck, the throat, relax the jaw, the chin, relaxing the right side of your face and the left side of your face. Relax the skin around your eyes, 
relaxing the brows, the space between your brows. Relax the forehead. Feel the entire body here, seated on your mat. As you are here, take your right hand to your belly now. And as you do this, try to rest your hand with love, with kindness, with gentleness towards the belly and allowing this to spread all over the body as well. You are here to take care of yourself, to give back to your body, to honor your body and its strengths and weaknesses. So take a moment here to be present in your body. To connect with your body in a more loving and kind way. And as you do this, observe your breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through the nose. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. As you breathe in, breathe into your belly and feel the belly rise and expand like a balloon. As you exhale through the nose, draw the belly in. Inhale, feel the belly expand. Exhale, feel the belly contract. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, the belly contracts. If you need to rest your hand down to your knee or switch hands, especially if the arm is tired, go ahead. And if you still have the hand on your belly, just continue to connect with the rise and fall of the belly. In this basic yoga class, this gives us an opportunity to focus more on the breath, to give it more attention. So really take the time here to make sure that you're breathing deep into the belly and not just stopping at the chest. Slow down your breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Before we come out of the seated position, take your left hand to the heart space this time and just rest it anywhere near the heart. And I want you to check in with how you are feeling today. Check in with any emotions that are present, whether they are wanted emotions or unwanted emotions. Acknowledge everything that you are feeling here right now. And then set an intention for your practice based on how you are feeling today. This can be a prayer, a goal, or an affirmation. Allowing this to guide you throughout the entire class. <clears throat> Taking your last three breaths, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, last inhale, exhale. Bring your hands together now to prayer position, rest it. To the heart space and then blink your eyes open 
Namaste and welcome to your practice. So everyone, come to your child's pose. You're going to find your hands and knees on the floor. Knees apart, big toes together. Stretch your arms forward and lower the elbows and the forehead down. And just rest here for now. Stay here in your child's pose. Allow your elbows to drop to the ground. Allow your neck and your shoulders to relax, especially your shoulders. Try to pull it away from your ears. And just a reminder for everyone, and of course for the beginners, in this class, always prioritize your breath first. So remember the breath that we just went through, breathing in and out through the nose, feeling the belly rise as you inhale and fall as you exhale. Try to maintain that throughout the class. The moment you forget this or you lose your breath, pause and come back to it, no matter what we may be doing. Second, in this practice, making sure that you are honoring your body so if anything hurts, or if you know you have any injuries, conditions, no need to force yourself here to any pose. If it's been a while since you've been back, allow yourself to take it easy. Focus on your body, on your breath, on your mat. And take your last few breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift up to all fours. Find your hands and knees on the ground. So you're going to take your hands under the shoulders, spread your fingers wide, and knees under your hips. Tuck your toes so that you have extra support. And then step the right foot back. So extend your right leg. Good. Try to square your hips. Pull and draw the belly in and up as if you're lifting away from the ground. And then can you reach your left fingertips forward? So just keep it on the ground. Inhale, float the arm and leg up without changing anything else in the body. Exhale, lower it back down. Good, that's all we're going to do. Inhale, lift it up, stay light on the left hand and right foot. Exhale, lower down. Keep going. Inhale, flex that right foot so the back leg is strong. Exhale, release. Inhale. Good, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. This time, hold here. Exhale. Gaze down at your mat. Round your back slightly and pull the belly in. Last three, two, and one. Hand and knee down to tabletop again. So reset here. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, other side. Left foot will step back. And again, keep your uh, pelvis completely squared. And then the right fingers will reach forward, stay on the fingertips. Inhale, float the arm and leg up. Good. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last inhale up and hold here. Look down at your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, and then exhale. Release the hand and knee back down. Make sure you're somewhere at the back of your mat, so adjust yourself a little bit. And then keep your hips stacked above your knees. Crawl your hands forward, puppy stretch. So lower all the way down, elbows and forehead down. Try to keep your hips lifted. Let the chest melt down to the floor, elbows down. Good, and really extend the spine. Breathe in, very good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly push into the hands, lift the head up, and then crawl your hands under the shoulders once again. So reset in tabletop once again. So from here, inhale, left arm will reach up and stay here, open the left arm, open the chest. And then exhale, take your left hand down, tabletop again. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. 
Keep going, inhale, left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale down. Two more times, go ahead. Left hand up, inhale. Exhale down. Right hand up, inhale. Exhale down. One more, inhale, left arm up. And down. And then right hand up. And down, very good. From here, step your right foot forward to the right thumb. Carry your foot and get it all the way to where your hands are. And then start to sink your hips forward just so that the knee stacks above the heel and you stretch the left thigh. Then from here, climb up onto the right leg so you're in a lunge, relax the shoulders. I need you to lean away from the leg, but at the same time, drop your hips down and then stay here. When you come into your lunge position, we don't wanna sink all the way down without using the legs. So we wanna push into the feet at the same time, drop your hips so you still stretch the left thigh and the right hip. Lean away from the right leg, relax the shoulders, and you'll feel a little bit more stable here. Then take your arms up over your head. Let's hold on to opposite elbows and rest the forearms on the crown of the head and lean back just a little bit. Stay there and hold, breathe in. Breathe out, good. Inhale, try to send your right knee to the right side. Exhale, drop the hips forward, good. And then lean the torso back, chin slightly up. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring both of your hands down to the floor now. And then from here, slide the right leg back, table top. Other side, left foot steps forward. So get the foot all the way to where the hands are. Climb your way up on the left thigh. Drag your hips forward and down and then lean away from the left thigh. Good. Then take your arms over the head, hold on to opposite elbows, rest your forearms on the head, chest up, breathe. Very good, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Release your hands down to the floor. And then slide your left leg back, tabletop position. So we're gonna come into our first down dog. Walk your hands forward, spread your fingers wide, press into the toes, lift your hips up, drop your head, and gaze back at your toes. In your down dog, can you adjust your feet closer together? So about hips width apart. No need to bring the heels down, but I need you to drop your head back. So look at your feet, drop your head down. Stay here, breathing in, breathing out. A few more breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Step your feet forward a little bit. Inhale, step your feet forward a bit. Good. Exhale. Last two breaths. Keep your hands there. Don't move your hands, huh? Good. Nice. One more breath. Don't move your hands. Good. Then from here, bring your knees down, table top position again. Good, we're gonna go back to our lunges. So step your right foot forward to the right thumb all the way to where the hands are. Climb your way up onto the right leg. Sink your hips forward, lean back, and then sweep the hands up. Good, stay here, keep your arms straight this time, palms facing each other and breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last breath in and out. Bring your hands down to the mat and stay here. Left hand remains on the floor. Right hand reaches up to twist. Look up at your hand, open the chest just like you did in your tabletop earlier and make sure that your hips drop forward. So try to send the hips forward. We wanna stretch the left thigh. Last two breaths, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bring your right hand down. Step back, tabletop position. Other side, step your left foot forward. If you want, move the right knee a few inches back for those who want to go a little deeper here. Climb your way up to the left thigh. Sink your hips forward. Lean away from the left leg and then reach your hands up over your head. 
Keep your left heel rooted down on the floor. So never let this heel lift up. Push that heel down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And out. Take your hands down. So right hand flat under the shoulder. Heel flat. Left hand up to twist. Good. It, remember, if you need your block, use your block, especially if the right hand can't come down flat on the floor. Grab a block, bring it to a height that makes sense for you. Last two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Left hand down, slide your left leg back, palms on the floor. Downward dog again, so lift the hips up. Drop your head as you look back at your feet. Again, feet hips width apart. Spread the fingers wide and drop the head low. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Very good. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. This time inhale, come forward to your first high plank position. Shoulders over your wrist, so there will be a bit more weight on the arms. Press into the thumbs and pointer fingers. Don't let the hips be heavy. Keep your hips light. One more breath. Inhale. Very good. Exhale. Lower the knees down. Okay. Now your knees are not under the hips, so make sure it's a few inches back. Lean forward. Elbows hug in. Come down to the mat. Now once you're on the floor, so when you come down on the mat, don't bring your elbows down. Just keep your hands flat and then lower the chest. Hands by the ribs. Point your toes. Press into the toenails. And inhale, lift up to a low cobra first. So you're mainly using your back to lift you up. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, lift the head and chest. Try to draw the belly up, elbows in. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lift up, low cobra first. And then push into the hands, start to lift up a little bit more. But as you lift up, keep the shoulders down, keep the elbows hugging in, and pull the belly in. And then tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, look at your hands, walk your feet to the top of your mat. Feet hips width apart, so that's about two fists apart. And then bow your head as you bend your knees. Relax the hands down, relax the head down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. So take your hands on the shin bones below the knees. Keep the knees bent and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, bow down. One more time. Inhale, lift up halfway. So again, right below the knees on your shin bones. Keep the knees bent, spine long. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side. Rise all the way up, hands to the sky. And then exhale, hands to your heart. And then arms down by your side. Mountain pose. This is your Tadasana. Good. So stay there for a few breaths. Feel free to close your eyes for a moment. And before we continue, just make sure that you're still aware of your intention, that you're still honoring what your intention is. Taking one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, sweep your hands up over your head. And exhale, dive forward, bend your knees as you bow down. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine, hands on the shins. And then exhale, take your hands down, step only the left foot back and bring the left knee down. Good. You can keep your back toes curled and then come into the pose we did earlier, low lunge, hands up. So again, your right foot should be far forward. Avoid bringing the foot in. Keep that foot to the top of your mat, heel planted, hips low. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bring your hands down to the floor. Then we're going to step the right leg back first, and then lift up the downward dog. So drop your head, hips up, 
and look at your feet. Stay there. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, come forward to your high plank, shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, lower the knees and lower the chest down. Don't bring the elbows down, just drop your chest to the floor. Point your toes, inhale, lift up to cobra, either low cobra or come up higher as long as you can keep the shoulders down and elbows clipped in. And then exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last breath in and out. Inhale, look at your hands. Step only the left foot forward and make sure to get the foot all the way to the hands, all the way to the top of your mat. Once your foot is there, lower the right knee down and then sweep your hands up over your head, arms by the ears, palms facing each other. Sink the hips low and press the left heel flat into the ground. Lift your gaze up slightly, inhale and exhale. Breathe in. And out. One more in. And then exhale, hands down. Stay on the fingertips. Lift the right knee up. Step to the top of your mat. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bow your head. Inhale, rise up, hands up. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Take your arms down by your side. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Let's repeat everything, same thing. Reach your hands up, inhale. Exhale, dive forward and fold, bend your knees, bow your head. Inhale, lift up, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hands to the floor. This time, the right foot will step back first. Bring the right knee down. Your left foot should be by the hand, so adjust the foot forward, heel flat, and then inhale, hands up. Sink the hips down, chest up. Very good. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Take your hands down to the mat. Slide the left leg back first and then down dog, hips up and back. Drop your head, gaze at your feet. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths there. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale. From there, lean forward to your high plank position, inhale. Exhale, drop your knees, don't bring the elbows down, just lower the chest to the floor. Point your toes, inhale, low cobra or come up higher, as long as you can keep the shoulders down and elbows in. And then exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward dog. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale and exhale. Look forward, inhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat, all the way to the hands, lower the left knee down. And when you're ready, hands up. Drop your hips, lift the chest, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and then exhale. Fingertips to the floor, lift the left knee up, and step to the top of your mat. Hands to the shins, knees remain bent, spine is long. Exhale, fold by your head. Inhale, rise up to stand, arms up. And then exhale, hands to the heart, close your eyes. Take a moment here to pause and breathe. So while you are here, notice the heat that you've already created in your body, the sweat on your skin. Notice how the body feels so far and if there's anything you need to adjust in order for you to honor your intention. 
with your hands against your heart. Feel your heart beating against the chest and see if you can slow the breath so that the heart also slows down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Open your eyes and then take your hands to the hips. We're going to walk to the center of our mat and everybody face the right side. So turn to your right side. Good. And then make sure you're in the center of your mat. Everybody step your feet wide apart. So wide apart. Mm -hmm. Turn your right foot forward. Good. Oh, sorry. Sige. Left foot na lang. Let's start with the left foot na lang. Left foot forward, arms out wide. And then as you look at your feet, first adjust your feet wide enough that it's under the wrist. So about as wide as your hands. And then make sure that your right foot is slightly angled forward to the top of your mat. And then slowly bend your left knee into your warrior two. Good. Palms are facing down. Expand your chest. And look at your left fingers. Breathe in. Focus here. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the jaw. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Extend your left leg straight. We're going to find triangle. Reach your left hand forward. Push the hips back. Legs remain long. Take your hand to the shin very lightly. Right hand up. Stay here in your trikonasana. Breathe in. Try not to put all your weight on the left hand. Breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Look down. Bend your left knee. Rise all the way up. Extend both legs. Take your right hand to the lower back. Bend the left knee again. Flip your left palm up. Reverse your warrior. So arm reaches over the head. Palm faces down. Bend your left knee while the right leg remains straight. Gaze slightly up. Last two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Extend both legs. Hands to your hips. And then other side. So turn the left foot in, then the right foot back to the windows behind you or to the back of your mat. Bend your right knee and then stretch the arms out wide. Look at your right fingers and stay here. Inhale, relax the fingers and wrists. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, extend your right leg, keep the arms out, reach to the back of your mat or reach to the right foot, lower the hand to the shin, left arm up to the sky, triangle pose. So arm is straight up, roll your right shoulder back and breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale. Look down. Bend the right knee gently. Come all the way up and keep both legs straight first. Take your left hand to the lower back. Flip your right palm up. Bend the right knee and then reverse your warrior right arm over your head. So make sure that right leg is still bent in a 90 degree angle. You want to lift the chest and gaze up. Relax the shoulders. Very good. Really stretch the right arm up to the sky. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center and extend both legs, hands to your hips. Turn the right foot in. So now both feet turn in towards each other, heels out. Inhale, lift the chest, elbows back so you expand the heart. Exhale, fold forward and then bring your hands down. If you can reach for a block, grab at least one block for your hands to rest on. And you can choose what height you'd like here, maybe the lowest height mid height or the highest height. Now inhale, lift your chest forward, arms straight, spine long. Try to step wider apart if you can. 
And then exhale, bend the elbows and fold, drop your head down. Then move the block right in between the feet so it's in the middle of your feet. And then let the head relax down a little bit more if you can. Bend your knees and lift the hips higher and stay here. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. So the wider your legs are, the easier it will be to fold. But if you have a narrow stance, that actually makes it more challenging. So see if you can step the feet a little bit more wide. If you can turn the feet in towards each other so that the outer edges of your feet anchor you down to the mat. Taking two more breaths, inhale. And exhale, relax your elbows, bend your elbows. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to the hips, and rise up very slowly. Then bring your feet closer together until your feet can step together once again. Turn to face the front of your mat now and just move the block to the side. We're going to flow all the way back down. So from the top of your mat, move forward, feet hips width, arms down by your side. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, dive forward, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back and then your left foot back, downward dog. So hips up and back. Drop your head, look at your toes, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, bring the knees down. And again, lower the belly and chest down to the floor. Adjust your hands by the base of your ribs. Elbows in. Inhale, cobra. So either low cobra or if you want, higher cobra. Just keep the shoulders down, belly in. And then child's pose. So lift the hips. Knees wider apart. Feet together. Sit down. Elbows and forehead down. Coming back here in this pose. Using this pose to relax your body and to settle down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Taking your last three breaths. Good. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. Lift up to your hands and knees again. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. Hips up and back. Drop your head as you gaze at your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Step your right foot forward to the right thumb. So carry the foot all the way to where your thumbs are. Lower the left knee down. Keep your back toes stuck. Keep the right foot on the right side of your mat as well. And then inhale, hands up to the sky. Bend into the right knee. Keep your knee in line with the outer hip, not to the center, but move it out. Lift your chest and lift your gaze up a little bit. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Take both hands down to the floor now. Lift the left knee up. Sink your hips lower. And then inhale, right hand up to twist. Look up, at, look up at your hand. Breathe in, chest opens, lengthen the spine. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, right hand down. Pivot your left foot flat. So adjust your right foot to the center of your mat now. And then take the right elbow on the right thigh. And then reach your left hand up to the sky. So it's kind of like triangle, but now the right leg is bent. And you rest your elbow on your thigh. 
I need you to push your knee out. Be very mindful of that knee out, chest up. Look up at your hand, stay there and breathe. Inhale, good, exhale. Turn your right foot out some more though. Good, breathe in, take a bend. Breathe out, nice. Inhale and exhale. From here, rise up, extend both legs straight. Flip the right palm up, reverse triangle. So both legs straight, right arm over the head. Left hand just rests on your back thigh. Lean back, avoid leaning forward. Inhale, good, good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Cartwheel the hands all the way down. Step back, downward dog, hips up and back. Inhale forward, plank. Exhale, knees down, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Your choice if a low cobra or if you want a higher cobra. And then exhale, down dog, hips up and back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more in and out. Now, inhale, left foot steps forward to the left thumb. Carry the foot to the top of your mat. Gently lower the right knee down. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Sink the hips forward and lift the chin up slightly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last breath in. Exhale, hand to the floor, lift the right knee up, sink the hips deeper, and then inhale, left hand up to twist. So left hand up, Anai, left hand, uh, right hand on the floor first. Good, stay there, breathe. Duck, let's switch, right hand down, okay. Right hand down, right hand down, and then left hand up. There you go, pivot this heel up, good, okay. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Lower the left hand down first. Pivot the right foot flat. So now the right foot is pointing to the right. Take your left elbow to the thigh, bend deeper, and then right hand reaches up, opening up to the right side. Stay there and breathe. Inhale, good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in your side angle, inhale. And exhale, look down, rise up to stand, both legs straight, flip the left palm up, reverse your triangle, left arm over the head. Make sure the left foot is pointing to the front of your mat still. So turn the left foot out, breathe in, breathe out, both legs straight, inhale, Exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Cartwheel both hands down, bend the left knee, and then step back, downward dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the belly chest down. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Take a big breath in, sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Again, inhale and sigh it out. <sighs> Good. Now look forward and then start to walk to the top of your mat, step to the top. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bow your head. Inhale, rise up to stand, hands up to the sky, so arms up. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Good. So we're going to move into a balancing pose next. So take your arms down by your side. And then make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. Okay. So you'll, you'll take your hands to your hips. Stand on your right leg. And then lift the left knee up in front of you. Swing your leg to the side. Option one is to rest it on the ankle so the toes can still rest on the floor. Option two, bring it up to the calf muscle. Avoid your knee. 
And last option is to maybe grab the foot and try to lift it up to the thigh. Doesn't really matter where you place the foot, actually. I just want you to focus on bringing weight to one leg. And wherever that is for you, stay there. Soften your standing leg a bit. Keep the chest lifted and keep your knee pointing out. Try to bring your hands to the heart. Focus on one point. Don't close your eyes here. And again, remember you can keep your toes on the floor. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. It's going to be hard to balance when we close our eyes. Breathe here. As you're holding this pose, just keep in mind that there isn't a right or wrong in this pose. There isn't a better position or a not so good position here. Stay here for another two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release your left foot down. Shake out this right leg. Shake out your hands. So we're going to do it a second time. And again, you can place your foot anywhere on the leg. Just avoid the knee. Okay? So hands on your hips. Stand on your left leg now. Right knee will lift up. Swing your right leg to the side. Then place your foot either on the ankle, calf, or all the way up to the thigh. It doesn't matter where you put it. I just want you to come into a place where you can hold and find stability and balance. Then hands to your heart, lift the chest, keep your knee pointing out, and breathe. Two more breaths. Slowly release. Take your foot down, shake out your hands, and shake out this leg. So this time we're going to come into a deep yogic squat. I want you to take your feet wider apart with your toes pointing out, heels in, and then inhale, hands to the heart, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, and slowly come all the way down to squat. So if your heels end up lifting up, that's okay. You can always use your hands to support you. But if your heels are down, push your elbows against the knees and really push the knees out wider. Lift your chest and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take your hands down, lift the hips up and back, drop your head down. So try to keep your legs as is. We are gonna come back into our squat in a bit. Relax the head, stay here. One more breath. And then bend your knees and come all the way down to your squat once again. This time, take your right hand to the right side. So I'll turn to face you. Right hand to the right in front of the knee. And then reach your left hand up. If this feels uncomfortable, you can also place it on your opposite leg and just twist and gaze up. Good. And if you'd like, take your left hand, wrap it around your lower back again. Roll the shoulder back, chest open. Breathe in. Very good. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Release. Good. Take your hands down. Let's lift the hips up. Just a quick break in between. Drop your head. And then re-bend your knees. Squat all the way down again. Other side. Left arm in front of the left knee. Stay on your fingertips. Right hand reaches up. Chest up. Good. Again, if you want, you can take your hand to the knee. Just to the knee or to your lower back. Lift the chest, inhale, good, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly release. Hand down, lift the hips up, bow your head down. All done. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, 
and breathe out. Inhale, lift up halfway, look forward. Exhale, hands to the, to the mat, step back, down dog, hips up and back. Take a breath in, inhale, stay here. And exhale. Inhale, come forward to plank. And then exhale, bring the knees down, lower down to the floor. And this time we'll stay here on the ground. So adjust yourself within your mat. And then you will reach your left arm out to the left side with the palm facing down. Make sure your hand is in line with your shoulder, not lower than the shoulder. And then turn your head to the right. Bend your right knee. Roll yourself over to the left until your right foot steps on the ground. And just rest your head on the ground as well. Breathe in. Breathe out. So make sure that your arm is in a half T shape. So the Left arm should really extend out like a T to the left side. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, release, lower all the way back down. Other side, right arm out to the side. Palm is flat, shoulder down, left hand down, bend the left knee. Roll over to your right, rest your head on the ground, and stay here. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly roll back down to the belly. Take your right hand by the chest again. Lift yourself up to the knees and then swing your legs forward. Sit down on your mat. Good. So once you are seated, let's bring the feet together, knees out wide, butterfly. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward and bow down. So if you want, reach your hands forward. Or you can just keep your hands on your feet. Relax the head and the neck down and stay here. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly lift yourself up, good, and then extend your right leg forward, left foot to your thigh. Take your right hand down on the ground, left hand up, inhale, and then exhale, reach forward to your right leg, bow your head down. So make sure the right leg is extended, and then bow your head to the right leg. Relax the shoulders, hold as deep as you can without rounding your back too much. And then inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Switch sides. So now left leg straight or opposite leg straight, right foot to your inner thigh. Inhale, right hand up. And then exhale, reach forward, do your left foot, bow your head down. Good. Try to keep your left hand on the floor so that you can use that to support you and to keep the shoulders squared, the chest squared down to the mat. Inhale, slowly lift yourself up. 
and release. Extend your right leg, move to the center of your mat, and then bend your knees a bit, feet flat, arms straight, inhale. Exhale, slowly roll all the way down to the floor. Take your hands down by your hips, palms flat, move your feet further back. Feet flat, inhale, bridge pose, slowly lift the hips up. Keep looking up at the ceiling, avoid turning your head to the side now. And if you'd like to stretch the shoulders and chest, roll your arms underneath your back and interlace the fingers, palms together. Push your arms down to the floor and lift the hips higher. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale. Release your hands. Release the hips all the way down. To end our practice, bring your knees to the chest. Take your arms out to a T, palms facing up. Inhale. Exhale, drop the legs to the right, lower the knees down, feet down. Turn your head to the left and allow your knees to drop over each other, the feet to rest on the floor. Let your elbow, left elbow down on the ground. You can also use your right hand to push the left knee down. So just to help you twist a little bit more. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Turn your head to the right and stay here. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Give yourself one final hug. Wrap your arms around the legs or just hold on to the knees or shins. Pull your knees apart and pull the knees closer to the shoulders. Stay here for one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, release the legs all the way down to the mat, legs straight. Take your legs as wide as your mat. Let the feet drop to the side. Arms down by your side, palms facing up, and close your eyes. Make sure that your palms are flipped up so that you invite the shoulders to also relax and open up. And then everybody take an inhale through your nose. Sigh it out through your mouth. <sighs> One more breath, inhale and let it go. <sighs> Enjoy your Shavasana, your corpse pose. I'll wake you up in a few moments. Rest here and let go.
Slowly start to reawaken your body, moving your toes and your fingers. Move your head side to side. And then stretch your arms over your head, legs together. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> Bend your knees. Roll over to your right side. Come to a side lying position and stay here. Take a breath in. And then slowly exhale, lift yourself up, sit down on your mat, hands on your knees, eyes are closed. Take a few moments here to sit in silence. We're going to spend about a minute here. And while you are here, I want you to observe your body, observe your breath, and observe what has changed over the past 60 minutes of your practice. Stay here and surrender in this experience. Bring your hands together now to pray your position to your heart space, bowing down in gratitude. Honor yourself for making it here tonight on your mat. Honor one another for sharing this practice together. And I honor you for allowing me to guide you and serve you. I wish you all peace in the body, peace in the mind, and peace in the heart wherever you are. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and stay safe. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.